Stilettos and lipstick are all in a night's work for Trinity. But by day, she's a full-time college student, an education student at a reputable four-year Michigan college. I just switched majors into um, secondary education for integrative science, minor in biology. I was previously in pharmacy, but I know my heart's more in education. A classroom may seem far away from the stage here at Deja Vu, but for Trinity, all of this is what will help her reach her goals. She works three days a week, a seven to eight hour shift each time. She started stripping a year and a half ago. It was for the money and also it's so much more convenient to be a dancer. Like I'm not really on a strict schedule. I can switch days whenever I want. If I need to leave early, I can. It's just more flexible than really any other practical college job. She averages 300 or more bucks a night. That's not bad for a girl putting herself through school. I spent over $14,000 um, between tuition, books, and school-related um, items. Um, I took out a $4,000 loan for last semester, and I had a scholarship for $1,200. So I paid $9,000 out of pocket cash for a school. It's a means to an end, especially in the middle of a recession. It's, you can't find another job where you can make the money you can make doing this. Deja Vu General Manager Dennis Kester knows from experience. He's worked in clubs on and off for a total of 14 years, starting in 1996. Summer after my freshman year, I went to the University of Michigan. Uh, my father became paralyzed from the neck down. Uh, family of six, school teacher dad, not a lot of money. So I needed a job uh, where I could work full time at night and still go to a school like U of M, which isn't easy to do. Denny went to school full-time and worked at a gentleman's club full-time. He graduated with a degree in English language and literature. It's actually helped me quite a bit to have a creative background in terms of uh, running a successful nightclub. I mean, we're more than just uh, an adult entertainment facility. We're a, we're, we're a full-service alcohol nightclub. Denny and Trinity aren't alone. They say half of the people who work in these clubs are college students. Very flexible. Uh, I mean, even for me, uh, when I was in college, I worked like crazy, but there would have been no way to have done that and still taken 18 credit hours at University of Michigan. So uh, it's, it's probably the most flexible job out there. Last semester, I had um, like anatomy and physiology and um, biology 120. And I literally did not get out of class until 7 o'clock, four nights a week. There is nowhere else I could work. There's a million different ways that college can be funded. Patricia Donnelly would know. She runs Bowling Green State University's Student Money Management Services. She's known students who have gone to extreme measures to pay for school, from living in cars to stripping. Stripping, yeah, that's been around, that will always be around. And I've known of women who have done that to put themselves through school. Um, you know, we don't advocate that uh, as an institution, and I think that that wouldn't have to be the first choice for any, anyone. According to the U.S. Department of Education, last year 66% of college students received financial aid from the government. Donnelly says many more probably qualify, and between grants, loans, and scholarships, school can be affordable. Every year, millions of dollars in scholarship money is not claimed. and. Sometimes what happens is that people don't think that they qualify for the scholarship. But I would say go ahead and, and submit it anyway. I do have scholarships. Um, I do obviously have loans. But I also need to work. Trinity and Denny argue stripping makes sense. And the smartest girls make the most money because they're creating an illusion of sex. But you need to know what you're getting into before you do it. Ultimately, this is a sales position. Uh, no matter what people want to think, these girls are independent contractors. Uh, they essentially run their own business individually, and uh, you cannot be dumb to do this. In the end, it's a job. Um, we're very fortunate to be able to work. Not everyone is able to do what we're able to do.